Well, it is officially my spring break, so I'm going to be working on this pretty extensively. What I've been really focused on is pretty, really, the driving factors of the story, kind of having to remember why I started writing the story, why it's so important to me, and the execution has really been important to me because I cannot allow myself, I feel, to poorly execute this story. It is, to me, it is so important that this story sticks out and like my full heart and soul put into it and not nothing left behind like I don't want to go back and read it at any point and be like oh man I should have incorporated this oh man I could have written this part better like every paragraph every sentence every word I'm having to just put my heart and soul into and I feel so good about it, in a way. I feel, I don't know, I feel a lot, I feel so passionate about it. Like, it, it, this is just so important to me. How I write this and what, how it needs to be written. And I feel like I've done a great job so far. I'm just shy of 15,000 words so far. And we're still in chapter 7. And I've taken kind of a, I've taken it so very slow here on chapter seven because it's 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 a vital point in the story that when you read it you aren't going to realize how important it is. It's but once you have completed the entire story, you're going to see okay. Th if this had happened, then this would have happened. But since this happened, this is how it played out. It's going to be one of those moments. So I'm having to really weave in each page and each sentence and each each letter of each word. But anyway, I want to get back to it. Um, like I said, we're 76 pages in, 14,951 words. So I'm going to get back to work. I'll catch up back with you guys in a second. Another thing that I like to put in, I know I just said I'd get back to work, but is my personal inserts. Like, for those of you who don't know what a personal insert is, it's um, taking a life experience and fleshing it out in a story that kind of makes it new, unique to your, you. So like, let's say uh, you're writing a fantasy novel, but hey, you just took a trip to the beach. So you incorporated a beach uh, in some capacity. It's just like something that rings true to you to make it more personal. And we were talking about this, and I've tried to mention this in a previous vlog, but I think I think my footage got corrupted. I didn't up I didn't upload it because my footage um, something was wrong with it, so it wasn't really good to upload. But when I was talking about personal inserts, it was it's what makes my books feel why I need to write them instead of I want to write them because it's like it's pouring my heart and soul out on a page and it's making me it's making me want to invest in the story more is putting in my own personal either life experiences or my own personal struggles and that's what really rings that's what makes it true to me is that's how I do it is I add in those personal inserts and I feel like in a way
this whole story is a personal insert to a really tragic it's not even my story it's not even my personal insert really it's to pay homage to pay homage to people I didn't even I've never even met before in my life but their tragedy and not inspired me but I felt like to honor them that this story needed to be written and I'll um I'm sure you'll know more about what I'm trying to say later on but I was thinking about that this morning before I started writing and I can't lose that like I'm not doing this I'm not writing this story for me because I think it's because I think it'll sell or because I think it'll um be profitable I'm doing this because I feel like I need to and that's what that's what really motivated me to write this book more than anything was that I felt like it needs to be written because of that tragedy that because of that kind of personal insert and that's why that's why I'm gonna keep going that's why I upload these videos so consistently. That's why I don't, you know, I, will, I appreciate all the love I'm getting, but you know, the subscriber count's not really why I'm doing it. The, the views I'm getting is not why I'm doing this story. It's not for me, it's to honor people. It's to pay homage. And I can't lose sight of that, because if I lose sight of that, then it just becomes another book. It just becomes another fantasy story. When it's not, it's something outside of myself that I'm having to convey. But always, whenever you're doing anything in life, always find that personal reason. Always figure out why this is so important to you and always and don't be afraid to ask yourself the hard questions ask yourself always ask yourself why you're why are you doing something and if you can't find the answer then why are you doing it or like what rings true to you because if you don't if you don't know who you are then somebody else will decide your actions for you somebody else will push you along the path that they feel like you need to be on and then you'll be living your life for somebody else and not for yourself that's why you have to ask yourself the hard questions of who you truly are and i gotta get to 15 i'm gonna get to 15,000 words like um i don't know i, I want to i want to be more talkative I don't know if y'all notice this in my mannerisms. I can't speak and write at the same time. So either y'all are watching me type for two minutes in silence or I'm speaking and I choose to speak because I'm keeping this log. So to kind of talk about my processes. So when I'm writing and then when I'm turn the camera on that's when I'm kind of that's when I'm in a lull but I've got something to say but I'm tr I'm gonna have to learn how to speak and type at the same time 
to kind of help the process go further, but it's no big deal. I just, I don't know if, I'm sure people are going to notice that at some point. I'll start to write, and I'll say I'm going to write for a second, and then just not. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of goofy in that way, I guess. Also, I'm planning on filming a lot more. I want to advertise my the book that I have on Amazon a lot more. So I'm going to start kind of like a, a campaign with my, my YouTube shorts. And I'm also going to uh, do a read-through of the first three chapters. And so be looking forward to that. I'm going to have fun making those videos. Also, I'm probably going to film it as well. I have... I'm giving a presentation on, I want to say the 25th uh, for my story. And uh, I'm going to most likely put that on here too. So stay tuned for that as well. I don't know, I'm very caught, I'm very caught up in thought right now. I don't, I don't know if y'all are deep thinkers, but I'm very, I'm a very deep thinker. And like I said, like sometimes I get on page Z when I'm on page B. Uh, it's, just every time I think about, I come back to that original idea of why I needed to write this story. It's it's so difficult to get off of that. I just think to myself, I think I just think the purse the the reason and the intent behind this story is one that needs to be told. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll end it here. But I do want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support that I've gotten from just sitting here and talking about my writing process and the this story in the most vaguest aspects possible. Because I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you the plot. I have told you guys where the characters begin in the story, and I think that's enough. And I'll probably come back to that later, because I don't want to leave you guys. You don't have to go search for that. But anyway, uh, yeah, thank you guys. This is just, it's just in the short amount of time, and everybody's been very... 
drawn to me in a way and I've been very drawn to doing this a whole lot more I've been so obsessed with this and it's just gonna be it's just gonna get better so anyway I'm gonna let y'all go y'all have a beautiful day and I'll see y'all in the next one